Good morning, students of class four. Students, I'm sure all of you are happy and healthy. Students, in my last video, I had recited poem three. Someone came knocking, and I had completed exercise A of comprehension. I'm sure all of you must have written the poem, the word meanings, and exercise A of comprehension neatly in your notebook. Now today I am going to continue with exercise B of poem three. Someone came knocking. So all of you, please take out your English notebooks and your Wordsworth English Reader book. Turn the page to page number fifty-three, poem three. Someone came knocking. Students, please take out your English notebook and your Wordsworth English Reader book. Turn the page to page fifty-three. Poem three. Someone came knocking by Walter De La Mare. Now, children, today first of all, I'm going to recite the poem once again for you. Revise the word meanings and exercise A, and then I'll start with exercise B. Poem three. Someone came knocking by Walter De La Mare. Someone came knocking at my wee small door. Someone came knocking. I'm sure, sure, sure. I listen. I open. I looked to left and right, but not there was a stirring in the still dark night. Only the busy beetle tap tapping in the wall. Only from the forest the screech owls call. Only the cricket whistling while the dew drops fall. So I know not who came knocking at all, at all, at all. Now let's revise the word meanings of this poem, children. The first word is "we," and "we" means little. We little. The second word is "not." Not means nothing. Not nothing. The third word is "stirring." Stirring means movement. Stirring movement. The fourth word is "still." Still means quiet. Still quiet. Now let's revise exercise A of comprehension. Choose the correct options to answer the following question. Question one: Where did someone come knocking? The answer is option B at the small door. And you will write it as someone came knocking at the small door. Answer one is someone came knocking at the small door. Question two: Where did the poet look after opening the door? The correct option is. option a left and right and the answer will be the poet looked left and right after opening the door or you can also write as after opening the door the poet looked left and right after opening the door the poet looked left and right question 3 who was tapping on the wall the correct option is option d a beetle and you can write as a beetle Was tapping on the wall. A beetle was tapping on the wall. Question four: What were the crickets doing? The correct option is C. The answer will be the crickets were whistling. The crickets were whistling. Okay. Now I'm going to start with exercise B. That is answer. the following questions briefly okay now question mark this who in your opinion who in your opinion opinion matlab aapke vichar mein is the speaker is the speaker in this poem कि आपके विचार में 
ये जो फोम लिखी हुई है इसका स्पीकर कौन है सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड है ना कि दादी पोएट हैज रिटन दिस पोएम फ्रॉम अ चाइल्ड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड इन द पिक्चर ऑल्सो वी कैन सी अ यंग गर्ल हु हैज ओपन द डोर एंड शी इज लुकिंग आउटसाइड सो इट जनरली हैपन्स विथ चिल्ड्रन दैट वेन दे आर ऑल अलोन स्पेशली इन द नाइट एट होम दे फील स्केर and they feel that somebody is knocking or they uh, feel that some strange noises are coming actually there is nothing it's just a wild imagination it's just a mind playing games with us because psychological we know that we are all alone hai na to jab humko pata hai hum akele hain hum darte hain to hame ajeeb si awaaz sunai dene lagti hai aur jabki aisa kuch nahi hai theek hai so अब क्वेश्चन से ओपिनियन इज दी स्पीकर इन दी पोम है ना कि आप आपके हिसाब से जो पोम पोम का स्पीकर है वो कौन है सो so, हमारे हिसाब से तो एक छोटा बच्चा है है ना सो वील राइट इन माय ओपिनियन ये ऐसा हम सोचते हैं है ना अ चाइल्ड इज द स्पीकर इन दिस पोम अ चाइल्ड इज दिस यू हैव टू डू इट इन द नोटबुक सो आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू आर राइटिंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स इन द नोटबुक इन माय ओपिनियन द चाइल्ड इज द स्पीकर इन दिस क्लियर सो इन माय ओपिनियन अ चाइल्ड इज द स्पीकर इन दिस फोम एंड ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज ड्रॉ पार्टिंग लाइन आफ्टर ईच आंसर या हु इन योर ओपिनियन इज द स्पीकर इन दिस फोम द आंसर इज इन माय ओपिनियन अ चाइल्ड इज द स्पीकर इन दिस फोम क्लियर क्योंकि ये जो पोम है ये एक बच्चे के पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से लिखी कि जब बच्चा अकेला है घर में रात का समय है आनी फील्स कि समबडी इज नॉकिंग फाइन एक्चुअली देर इज नो वन बट वो डर के मारे ऐसी फीलिंग आती है ना क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट डेड the speaker what did the speaker do to find out who was at the door Now the question is, what did the speaker do to find out who was at the door? First question में था कि speaker कौन है? तो in our opinion the speaker is a child. Now the second question is, what did the speaker do to find out who was at this door? Speaker ने क्या किया पता करने के लिए कि door में कौन है? The speaker heard that someone was knocking at the door. तो अब now when he felt कि somebody is knocking, he could hear the no sound of the knock. What did he do to find out? so we will write speaker ne kya kiya speaker open the door he looked left and he looked right darwaza khola aur usne left dekha samne koi nahi dikha to obviously hamare sath bhi aisa hota hai if you open the door if you don't see somebody in the front what do we do we turn around on both the sides and see ki aisa to nahi ki koi side mein hai so same thing the speaker did the speaker opened the door and looked left and right to find out who was at the door so we write the answer the speaker open the door and look left and 
right to find out who was at Okay. Now, what did the speaker do to find out who was at the door? The answer is the speaker opened the door and looked left and right to find out who was at the door. Clear? The speaker opened the door and looked left and right to find out who was at the door. Clear? Door khola, left and right dekha ki. कौन है जो मेरे डोर पे नॉक कर रहा है है ना माय वी स्मॉल डोर माय लिटिल स्मॉल डोर वी मींस लिटिल सो लेट्स रिवाइज बोथ दीस क्वेश्चंस एंड देन आई विल रेज एंड राइट द थर्ड वन क्वेश्चन वन हु इन योर ओपिनियन इज द स्पीकर इन द पोम द आंसर इज इन माय ओपिनियन अ चाइल्ड इज द स्पीकर इन दिस पोम क्वेश्चन 2 व्हाट डिड द स्पीकर डू टू फाइंड आउट हु वाज एट द डोर द आंसर इज The speaker opened the door and looked left and right to find out who was at the door. Clear? So now, now I'm going to erase both these questions, children, and I'm going to write the third question. Question number three. What did the speaker find? on opening the door up jab speaker ne knock suni she opened the door and she looked left and right to kya dekha speaker ne door kholne ke baad kya dekha this is the question so <clears throat> What have we read? We have read the word not. She found nothing. Not n o u g h t. So not means nothing. So speaker ko to kuch bhi nahi dekha, hai na? So we will write the speaker answer. Ab did hai beta in the question did hai. That means ki humko verb ko kya karna padega? पास फॉर्म में करना पड़ेगा वर्ब क्या है फाइन इसका पास फॉर्म हो जाएगा फाउंड सो द स्पीकर फाउंड नॉट नॉट मींस नथिंग सो द स्पीकर फाउंड नथिंग कुछ भी नहीं था वहां पे नथिंग ऑन ओपनिंग the door the speaker found nothing on opening the door clear what did the speaker found on opening the door the answer is the speaker found nothing on opening the door clear now comes your next question स्पीकर ने दरवाजा खोला लेफ्ट देखा राइट right देखा उसको कहीं कुछ भी नहीं दिखा है ना एवरीथिंग वॉज स्टिल नॉट अ स्टरिंग कोई भी मूवमेंट नहीं कहीं कुछ नहीं ओनली स्पीकर को साउंड सुनाई दे रहे थे किस किस के साउंड द आउल्स कॉल द टैपिंग ऑफ द बीटल एंड द विस्लिंग ऑफ द क्रिकेट है ना ओके नाउ आर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज विच 
creatures creatures mean living things hai na kon kon se living things it can be animals it can be human beings hmm kuch bhi jitne bhi living things hai wo creatures mein aayenge could be her creatures living things keep in mind children hai na so which creatures could be her us usne jab door khola usko koi nahi dikha to usko kuch sunai diya hai na wo kon kon se creatures ki awaaz usko sunai di we have to name to humne kya padha tha tapping of the beetle call of the owl and whistling of the cricket to kon kon se teen creatures the beetle owl and cricket ठीक है ये तीन क्रीचर्स के नाम फॉर्म में है सो वील राइट ही से बीटल कॉमा बी डबल ई टी एल ई बीटल आउल एंड क्रिकेट्स could be heard the answer is beetle owl and crickets yahan pe crickets jhingur ko bola gaya so beetle owl and crickets could be heard clear now let's revise both these questions then i'll erase and write the fifth one question 3 what did the speaker find on opening the door the answer is the speaker found nothing on opening the door question 4 which creatures could be heard the answer is beetle owl and cricket could be heard clear yeah? now i'm going to uh, erase and write the last question the fifth question Okay. Now the last question is question five. Could the speaker find out? the cause cause means the reason of the knock at the door at The end. How do you know? Now, the question is: Could the speaker find out the cause of the knock at the door? क्या speaker ने जब door खोला तो उसे कोई नहीं दिखा तो उसे पता चला कि कैसे उसको ये डोर नॉक की आवाज सुनाई दी थी और अगर आप ऐसे कहते हो तो हाउ डू यू नो आपको कैसे पता सो एज वी नो कि स्पीकर को तो पता नहीं चला वेन ची ओपन द डोर है ना एंड व्हाट वी फील आई थिंक देर वॉज नो बडी एट द डोर डोर में कोई भी नहीं था है ना इट वॉज जस्ट दी फियर ऑफ द चाइल्ड वो खाली बच्चे का डर था कि उसको ऐसा लग रहा था कि समवन वॉज नॉकिंग एट दी डोर एक्चुअली देर वॉज नो वन दी चाइल्ड माइंड वॉज प्लेइंग अ गेम विथ हर एंड शी कुड जस्ट मतलब वो उसने इमेजिन किया कि कोई है और उसके इमेजिनेशन ने उसको बिलीव करवाया कि नहीं उसको ऐसा लगा कि कोई नॉक कर रहा है बिकॉज शी न्यू शी वॉज ऑल अलोन एट दी होम देर वॉज नो वन तो जब हम अकेले होते हैं हमारे मन में डर रहता है 
तब हमको ऐसा फील होता है अगर हम डरेंगे नहीं तो हमको ऐसा फील नहीं होगा तो इट वॉज जस्ट द फियर ऑफ द चाइल्ड हु मेड अ फील लाइक दैट सो चिल्ड्रन आल बी राइटिंग द आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इन माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन ऑल ऑफ यू रिसाइट द पोएम कंप्लीट एक्सरसाइज बी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर along with the answers in your notebook and the most important thing do learn and revise all the taught lessons and units as your half yearly exams are approaching so that's all for today thank you children day ahead